justified by faith, justified by works. They seem contradictory, but they are both true. The Bible is true. And we're going to figure this out in this video. First, what does justify mean? There is a church phrase that goes something like this. Justify means just if I had never sinned. And that's true, but we're not going to depend on church phrases for doctrine. Romans 3.24, if you look at that, justified means redeemed. If you look at Romans 5.9, justified means saved. Justified by faith. We're saved by faith. Of course, we're saved by grace through faith. Fifty years ago, I put my faith, belief, trust in Jesus, and Him alone, and nothing else to be saved for my eternal life. The moment that I did that, it was a moment in time. I was redeemed, born again, and saved. Key question for you right now. Can you look at me and confirm? that I have faith in Jesus for my eternal life? No, you can't. Why not? Because you're a human being. You can't look and see faith. You can't look on another person's heart. But who can? God can. God can. We know that. 1 Samuel 16, 7, God looks on the heart. So the first one's easy. Justified by faith. We're justified by faith before God because he can look on the heart and humans can't. So what can humans see? What can humans see? You know the answer. They can see works. All right, so now we're into justified by works. What does that mean? Well, before, before I explain this, we have to Make sure that you understand that you're not saved by works. A lot of people are thinking, oh, he's going to tell us we're saved by works, or they have part of it. It has nothing to do with getting saved or justified. So well, let's look at some real clear verses on that. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Titus 3, 5, just as clear. Not by works of righteousness which we have done but according to his mercy he saved us second timothy 1 9 just as clear who has saved us and called us with an holy calling not according to our works also look at romans 4 5 galatians 2 16 all right so we're back at justified by works what does that mean here's what it means it means that humans can tell if a person is a Christian, another person is a Christian, by their works that they can see. That's basically it. The works testify back to their genuine, sincere faith in Jesus. That's very simple. Even Jesus told us in Matthew 5, 16, this is what he said about looking at people's works. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. So that's what it means. Justified by works, other humans can see your works that testify that you have put your faith in Jesus. Now I'm going to expand on this because it's such a big area. James chapter 2, as you know, talks a lot about works. The main message out of James chapter 2 is this. If you are truly saved as a Christian, you will do good works that other men can see. It's that simple. Now, I'm going to read a very important verse or part of a verse, James 2.18, in a minute. But I've got to give you some upfront information. Of course, the book of James was written by James. He was saved. He wasn't in the process of being saved. Look at James chapter 1, verse 18. James chapter 1, verse 21. Who was the book of James written to? This is very important. In James 1.1, 1, 1, very first verse, it'll tell you that James was written to the 12 tribes. Other humans, very important, other humans. So James is writing to other humans. Now here's what James chapter 2, verse 18, the last part of that verse says. I'm going to read this several times. you got to get this. I will show thee my faith by my works. I will show. So 
Somebody's going to see something. I will show thee my faith by my works. One last time with an interjections. I, James, a human being, will show thee other human beings that cannot look on the heart my faith by my works. It's that simple. James is justified by works before other humans because they can see his works and they testify back that he really put his faith in Jesus. Now, what are some of the things James did back then, his works? Well, I don't know for sure. He probably helped the poor, did preaching and all sorts of stuff that they could see. All right. What can we see right now about James? At 2 Timothy 2.15, it says this, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Several weeks after I got saved, I started reading the Bible. And if anybody had seen me, which my roommate did, that was a work. That would testify back to my faith in Jesus as, as an example. What about James? We didn't know James back then. But what did he do concerning the Word of God? Well, he wrote the Word of God. He provided a book for the Bible. So we can see that. And we, we right now today, can say, hey, yeah, James was a Christian. That was a good work. I'm going to tell you another story about the Bible and a good work. It's a story about my dad. He was 69 years old. He was a lost person. He was raised in the same church I was raised in. And I asked him one day why God would let him into heaven, and he gave me the answer I gave because he lived a good life. And uh, he's lost. So I asked if I could come by and talk to him. I came by. It was a volatile conversation. He called me a Jesus freak. He called me other things I can't say in this video. He, I, I read Bible verses to him and showed him Bible verses. He told me never, ever to bring that Bible back in his house, and that's the way he said it. And I left, and he was, he was lost. I could not persuade him to be a Christian. Several months later, my sister called me and said he was saved. I didn't believe it. Everybody in the family, all the kids were saved by then, and they were trying to talk to him, and he didn't want any part of it. And I think he just gave a false profession, you know, like, I believe in Jesus, leave me alone. Well, I sent him a Bible. I called him several months later. I said, Dad, did you get my Bible? He said, I did. And I really, really enjoy reading it. And he had read it through twice. Was that my proof? That was it. He was a workman. I could see it. He was saved. James chapter 2 came alive for me. It works. But that's it. Right now, human beings cannot look on other human beings on their heart and see their faith. But they can see their works. That's what justified by works mean. James 2.20 is exactly right. It says, faith without works is dead. Of course, saved people should work, they will work, and produce some works. If you look at Philippians chapter 2, verse 12 and 13, and Hebrews 13, 21, God is in us trying to persuade us to work. We do work if you're saved. Why? What is the purpose of works? Jesus tells us at Matthew 5, 16, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Our good works glorify the Father. They have nothing to do with getting saved and having eternal life. The bottom line, Christians are justified by faith before God. Christians are justified by works before other humans that can see their good works and determine that they are Christians. The works testify back to their sincere, genuine faith in Jesus Christ.